Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a test case template for your work use or your practice. There is also a professional version of this test case template. You can get that in description of this video. Okay, so open Excel sheet and in first column, type in the project name as title. You can drag this a bit. The next line, make sure you add module name. Okay, then add release version. After that, leave at least four to five lines blank. Okay, then in one row, start by writing test designed by. Then test design date, test executed by, test execution date. Okay, so once you have this setup, all you have to do is create one more column for precondition, dependencies and test priority. Okay. So I'm going to add that here, preconditions. So make sure that any precondition that you add goes in a horizontal way. So that you can extend this if you want. Okay, or you can also add it per column. Okay, then the next is dependencies. and then test priority okay once you have this setup you can go ahead and create your test case columns so start with test case number then you add test title after that you add summary or you can also write test summary so for each test case add some summary okay after that test steps so this column is going to be a bit bigger once you start adding the content into it so we will make it a bit bigger and then test data okay so in this column we will add test data used for each test case so it's not going to be the same as our precondition it will be different now the next column is expected result. And then post condition, and then actual result. Finally, status and bug okay so if any bugs are here you can mark that as yes or no also add notes for each test condition now you can create one big table for this okay simply give complete borders all right okay and first row should be highlighted so we are going to make it with a bit darker color make it with bold titles same here we are going to add precondition but only should be outer border Okay, and here we will add all the borders and we will also give it specific colors so that it gets some focus okay and let's add another color here 
can also add this but depending on how you look at your test case you can add that okay and then you can simply add borders here as well going to add the background of white same goes for here okay all right so this is our simple test case template you can do some more cosmetic changes to it okay and this is pretty much it is okay so this is where you write project name module name release version add test designer name design date execution positions name and execution date also precondition should be within these rows dependencies for environment then test priority and below that you have your table for test case test title test summary test steps test data expected result post condition actual results status bugs and notes so take it something like tsc underscore zero one test title should be check browser title summary check the web app title okay let's extend this then test steps open url then Just increase this. Okay, second step should be let's say open URL http google.com. Okay, like this, you can keep on adding your test steps. Okay, and test data for that, let's say Chrome browser. Then expected result, it should open or not. Then post condition, or you can simply replace this with any condition that you are expecting from the result and the result that you are getting. Also status of the test is fail or pass. Also, bug like browser crash. Okay, you can also have notes for that test, like what environment specifically has this error, etc. Okay, so this is our simple sample test case template for you to use. You can you use the link below? For downloading a similar template but the one within the link is much more professional and it has every field properly arranged with filters and everything so I hope that this video helps you and I will see you in the next video